New at six, while the nation focuses on COVID-19, a silent pandemic is brewing right here in Georgia. Researchers at the University of Georgia have found a gene that causes resistance to one of the most important antibiotics in the world. CBS 46 anchor Tracy Hutchins has a closer look at why researchers are sounding the alarm. Well, Sean and Rick, they certainly are. And I do want to make clear this gene recently found is bacterial, so it doesn't have anything to do with the COVID-19 virus. But think about everything else you need antibiotics for, like a sinus infection or a skin condition. If this gene were in your body, even the crucial last resort antibiotic couldn't fight it off. Lurking in Georgia's sewer water is a gene at the center of the world's silent pandemic. It was discovered by University of Georgia researcher Isma Kasem. He tells me the MCR9 gene causes bacteria to be resistant to one of the world's most important antibiotics. But when other antibiotics fail, we resort to colostin, and colostin should take care of the problem. However, if the bacterium has this gene that we have detected in the sewer water, then colostin will not uh, uh, be able to kill the, the bacteria. Antibiotics are used to treat infections, everything from cuts and wounds to surgeries. Kasem is concerned about the MCR9 gene because it doesn't just go from human to human, it can jump into anything and everything. With these, you can get them from the environment, you, get the, you can get them from the food. So if you're working in your garden, you know, you can get an antibiotic res resistant um, uh, infection. We got here because we overused and misused those drugs in uh, human medicine and in agriculture. Kasem tells me the only way to solve the problem of antibiotic resistant genes and stop them is if the effort involves everyone. We're talking about medical doctors not to over prescribe unnecessarily the antibiotics, the patients themselves not to ask their doctors to prescribe the antibiotics, agriculture to be very prudent in using those antibiotics. Yes, also that agriculture industry as well. Well, the most recent study by the Atlanta-based CDC reveals the U.S. has 2.8 million antibiotic-resistant infections every year, and around 35,000 people die from them. Rick? Tracy, thanks very much.